Because really, like, by getting here any other way, I say maybe like. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the times that I had to go slide. Too many sticks. Go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Different syrup flavors, you know? Ooh, I was gonna say. Make them repeat what he said. Yeah, yeah. Let's have sex in the car. What do we have here? We have fried Oreos. Fried from Oreos. Race. Some Ray's candy shop. Yay! This thing is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. I don't think you lot understand. Come to New York, please, Mike, please. Filled to the brim. That's to the saying. brim. Ooh. Hey! With onion. Is it onion? Because if so, we're going to wake up with smelling breath tomorrow, you know? Is it good? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Mm. Right? I wish I was so spicy, though. Yeah. I mean, you could always ask for more. No hot sauce, hot sauce is sour. Yeah. Not sour, sour. That's the problem. I don't like, I don't, I like, uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Today was so fun. Just being able to come together, network with each other, like just talk about different things. It's been such a good time here. Like I feel like maybe I'm supposed to live in this place. Like maybe this is my city after all. Even though there's some mad things I saw today, I ain't gonna lie to you. But the vibes are always so good. I can see why people fall in love with this city so much. I've always been a New York advocate. Everyone knows this, bro. I, I feel like once I come back to the UK, I'm giving myself six months before I come back again. refreshing that is really really nice even the sugar tastes different it doesn't taste like back home the flavor and the sugar and all the different kind of like this is why people are enjoying their life on this side of the pond it's certain things i'm eating and it will never taste the same in the uk it will never guys let me tell you it's not good to run late to functions the way i'm walking like i've never walked before in my entire life it's not good to run late to functions because please why am I breathing heavy like a dog? That's the real question. Bro. Yeah, JP, you're moving mad. Furthest reaches of the internet. As you prepare to... Thank God for my life, I don't take this stuff for granted. I'm living. I ain't trying to waste time, got boxes of ticks, so I move diligent like mission. Frank Farmer, I got a movie to make because I know it's hidden figures. When I figure it out, it come like a C, no bingo, because I'm chinging. Nah, no, I ain't talking about knife work. I move sharp in my mind, rhyming for days but overthinking. I was moving like Allen inside, nightmare alley like Bradley Cooper. Now G big like Frank White. Could've give her one more chance, now I got a story to tell, it's nice. I thank God that I'm living, now I can help but I like first. Look at the way the light changes, please. When I hug myself. Quality stuff.
star in the area, no astrology Had to pat when I met that woman and I effed that bitch but no misogyny I try and take over the economy, say my name cause it's my destiny Journey from early, been doing this thing from early It's all or nothing, take that risk, got nothing to lose Flow naturally, got nothing to prove Where's your fruit? Got to prune, stick to the roots So get plucked out, you can get rubbed out if it's all excuse Clean hearted it's so cool here, I'm not gonna lie And then with the glasses, I need to see how it actually looks like Oh, the glasses makes it so cool Oh, stop for a minute and close my eyes Listen to the sounds all around you Smell the earth, feel yourself in the flow of the universe Trust in the journey When you're ready to ignite your journey, proceed to the next area Well, I guess that answered my whole point of it being a bit of an awkward evening Take time with self <laughs> Literally was answered like that I'll be here to embrace All my life been chasing the pips I'll be chasing This means that we are made of stardust And in a sense, the universe is within us It's a powerful reminder of our interconnectedness with the cosmos and the incredible potential that lies within each and every one of us. Now, make your way over to the Integrate Photo booth next to me for a keepsake of your Interverse experience. Have a wonderful day, you beautiful human. Whoop it, yeah, whoop it up. Well, let's see, man, get up. I want no same real sense. Get some moon, you're just my heart and my head. She said she made me want to do it. She was talking for my door. She won't leave me. Leave me alone. This girl, she wouldn't stop. On the side of all the cops, she was scheming. Oh, she was wrong. Cause she wanted all my Guys, we're going home. This place has actually been so fun. What? It's time to go home. <laughs> it's time to go where? Gotta go home. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. To go home. Ah. And he shoots. You get ready. Into the the, the post, the four point. Ah, oh, you tried, you know, you tried, you tried. It's okay. Guys, this is my first deli. Which one? Real meat. The meat is real. Let me see. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, my first chopped cheese. Oh my lord, I am waved. How are you? Sorry. Liquid death. Oh my god, that looks a bit scary to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, babes. <laughs> Why people need to live in New York because they play music in this guy's look at even inside there. Come and see wildlife. It's not, it's, it's not fine. It's, it's an he's saying it's all right. Do we have this? In, if you have this in London, you're paying how much per month? You lot know exactly what I'm talking about. This you'll be paying five thousand a month, this is if not even ten thousand. No, this place like this, you'll be paying ten thousand a month.
as you would find in the UK. It's like cake. This thing here, the way we're eating. <laughs> My eating partner. <laughs> okay. It's a texture I cannot explain. It's soft, but at the same time, it tastes like crumble, but like a cake at the same time. Hello. Hello. Darius is somewhere down there. Because the phone is actually in between him. Yeah. This is actually really crunchy. And the flavor is actually intensified as well. Cute, you know. Look at this girl. <laughs> Anytime I stop putting her, look. I disagree. <laughs> yeah. I disagree. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Eh? Eh? I don't know. Snap. Guys, it's the final night. I've not packed. I'm gonna pack tomorrow morning because I am so tired. Today the weather was absolutely shit, man. Like it was just raining consistently, non-stop. And I was actually supposed to go out tonight. <coughs> Pardon me. If someone says that, oh, we're gonna go out, especially if it's like new friends that you're making, always have a plan B always have a plan b especially if that person is not all the way there with planning because i was actually supposed to go out tonight clubbing thank god i didn't because i'm not gonna lie i'm not in the clubbing mood anyway i'm tired the weather's dead and i've legit experienced that with this a specific person i'm not gonna lie to you part of me wants to even block them block and delete them 
this is actually and this is the thing that's upsetting because it's like it's been so many you have to be honest do you know what i mean this vlog is about the good the bad and just certain things that have been experienced this was actually a fellow niger sister that i was supposed to meet today i was like listen because i've been around a lot of like male energy because of like music and then everyone's just kind of like chilling together right after the studio so everyone is like still riding that, that studio high of oh because we're in the studio like let's all chill let's all hang out and stuff like this over the weekend so i was like i'm, ex like, I'm excited for you know some female energy some energy ways you know what i mean like this is my people nigerian sister like this i did not hear back from her at all now here's the thing she was somebody that i started speaking to online from hinge so hinge is a strange app you either meet some people that are amazing which i did actually for the studio session and then you either meet some people that are just not like it's just a lot going on with them i wouldn't say they're not normal but it's just like there's just some people that just got a lot of you know soul searching or eye opening or just they're just busy people it like it depends on the type of person you're entertaining but um or rather friends that you're making so yeah but that was a bit of a bummer i'm not gonna lie i was supposed to go to lagos lounge and that didn't happen i've not heard back from her up to now i said let me know the plans sis and everything and that did not happen so that has actually pissed me the hell off i knew this kind of was going to happen because they were not straightforward with certain things that they were saying anyway what other thing have i learned about new york don't always stay in manhattan go to other boroughs because other boroughs are fun other boroughs are so fun like and then the food oh, the food i had to do i didn't even get to record it in its entirety but new york has been a trip and a half i feel like i've just about had enough but i'm ready to come back like i feel like i'm ready to go home now only because i don't have a house in a specific neighborhood i'm in times square times square is a bit of an area where it's just like there's a lot of um fiends if you know what i mean um d-r-u-g fiends when you start going outside and going to different boroughs you don't really see that it's actually quite shocking you don't really see that at all like residential spots not really you don't really see these things so yeah it's just a lot and it's expensive here sorry hold on one second that's one thing i've also learned about this place it's so like there's some things that are expensive that makes sense and then there's some things that are expensive that does not make sense and it's like this might actually be worse than london like the prices have gone up drastically from when i was last here when buying certain things like it's just very unnecessarily expensive anyway tomorrow i'm gonna have one last like full day my flight's at 11 15 p.m so i still get to do i think tomorrow's the day where i actually do more like real deal touristy kind of things i was saying that i want to go to the met museum but i'm not doing that i think i'll do that next time i think what i'm going to do is just explore like certain like outdoor spaces for sure i want to try raising canes tomorrow i didn't get to try raising canes and apparently that they're special sources and i want to try that i want to try that so chick-fil-a i'm not gonna lie that thing has my heart that was a good like that one was nice anyway let me not talk too much that is basically it but um yeah it's been real new york it's been real i've learned so many lessons i've learned so many motivations because there's a lot of people that i made friends with as well that are not originally from here but took the big step to work out here so this city is so good like i'm even starting to and it sounds so bad like in terms of returning back to london i'm ready for that because i miss my family that's the main thing i miss my family i want to say hey you know what's going on guys i missed you did, did. but then another part of me is like i'm gonna miss the liveliness and the joy of this city like people are so interactive with you it's incredible it's incredible this place is hustle and bustle like if you actually want to get done <laughs> if you want to get done come to this place this place will motivate you and push you to your very strongest abilities and you'll see yourself flourishing in ways that you didn't expect to flourish in anyway without further ado i'm gonna end it here have a lovely night obviously it's gonna be that one second for you until next scene but for me i'm going to bed now so good night and see you tomorrow on the last day rise and shine you lot i'm not gonna lie i'm so upset that i'm leaving i'm actually so upset that i'm leaving like even my people are like ah oh, 
this place suits you so much. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Like, do you see what it is here? I feel like I found my city. I thought in life, like sometimes it's just one of those ones where it's like, oh, like you're comfortable where you're staying. But with me, I'm not comfortable in the UK. Like, I feel like I've like come to a point where I've outgrown the UK. But yeah, it's just one of those ones where it's like, this city will be seeing me again. This ain't the last hurrah. I didn't even get to go to the rooftop bar in this place, but I was just saying to myself, this trip here is tourism, but in the, oh, I was saying to myself, this trip is tourism, but at the same time, it's not. It's actually field research. It's field research for what I'm gonna do when I move out here, because guess what's gonna happen? I'm moving out here. Even if I only live here for three months, live here for six months, live here maybe for a year, I do know that I want to have a life outside of the UK. Now, I'm not gonna lie though, I feel like I'm coming down with something. Like my throat on this side here is very, I don't wanna say it's swollen because I don't wanna claim it, but I, when I was swollen, I was like, I feel like something hurts around this area here. New York has been bloody, bloody real. I've had the time of my life. I've had the time. I like, even look at the street. Like everything just looks so cute. Like, oh my God. I don't wanna leave here. I'm gonna check out now before I get charged and, um, probably just go about i am gonna meet darius later because darius is actually so fun like in person as well as on the phone when he's always been a goofball in person he is hilarious so we're gonna chill today he's just got a couple of things to do but i think in the meantime i might actually go soho i don't want i was saying oh, i want to go times square but there's nothing for me in times square those red steps are just it's just ah uh, i don't want to i don't i'm already staying in times square west what more of Times Square do I need? I went last time, people were bombarding me with the whole, oh, five dollar for picture, five dollar. I said, no five dollar, no five dollar. Even this year, I have to come back to the city. This city is my city, are you right? 